Hey everyone, good morning. Phil Art, uh, Technical Sales AC Northern Europe. And in this session, we're going to be quickly looking at uh, the publishing concept within uh, BIM 360 design. Okay, so why do we really want to publish here? Uh, well, essentially, it's because if you look at what we have in Revit and what we have in BIM 360 Docs, it's actually two different aspects, if you will. So if you look at what the Revit user is doing, then obviously, let's just quickly zoom in here, then we have all the benefits of using Revit, the design tools, uh, the fact that we can have views and sheets. And as such, we've got this entry level, for instance, let me just quickly go through this entry level. And maybe we've got the second floor, third floor, etc. We also have a couple of sheets, as you can see. So I've got, for instance, A101 approved plans. And there is this one uh, view on it, which is actually the entry level. And then I also have some non-approved plans. For instance, we can name them as we want. And in a later session, I'll show a, a Dynamo script that we can use in combination with uh, BIM 360 design. But clearly, as you can see, in this case, the A102 non-approved plans, uh, well, there's no view on it. Probably it still has to be developed. And so the real question is, well, if this is what we have in Revit, and if this is what we're developing, so this is a project in the middle of being uh, developed, um, is that really what we want to show as it is to the users on BIM 360 Docs? Because I think that's quite essential that within Docs, uh, one of the critical aspects, obviously, is that we have this viewer here. So anyone with at least um, view access can look at these files and have an understanding of essentially what is uh, really happening in here. We'll get to the large model viewer and sort of the tools that we have at the bottom here in a, in a later session. But essentially, we don't want to confuse these people by drawing their attention to stuff that, as a Revit designer, we're still developing. And so essentially, that is why we have this publishing inside of uh, Revit, because really what we want to have is a view on things uh, on BIM 360 Docs that draws viewers or users' attentions, uh, attention to um, yeah, specific views and sheets and what have you, rather than encumbering them with all of the data inside of Revit. So that brings us to a second aspect, which is a difference between what you see here, which is indeed a cloud-based model, be that WorkShed or not. In this case, it is WorkShed. Um, so what we have here and what we have on BIM 360 Docs, uh, there needs to be a mechanism, if you will, that if we look at this cloud model and we want to get it as visible on BIM 360 Docs, we need to specify what we want to visualize. And so the first step is that essentially, no matter how many times I hit save or synchronize with central, essentially nothing is going to change to that viewable here on BIM 360 Docs, except for the first time we're uploading a new file from Revit into BIM 360 Docs, then obviously we're also going to get this uh, published version so that people understand that we've got this first file up there. But apart from that, after that, no matter how many times we hit safe, no matter how many times we hit synchronize with central, nothing's going to change on BIM 360 Docs unless the designer or designers decide to publish this. So essentially, it means that this is an invisible file when it comes to BIM 360 Docs. And what you see on BIM 360 Docs is actually something that the Revit designers are in control of. So basically, when there's a milestone, that's when people will go, right, this is what we want to get visualized on BIM 360 Docs. And so what is it exactly that, that we want to have inside of this file? That is being decided in this, let me just maximize this for a second. That's what we get in these publish settings. So what you'll see is that when we um, are going to publish onto BIM 360, we're going to have the 3D view architectural, which effectively is what you see here. We're going to have this sheet and view list, and we're going to have these uh, this first sheet approved plan. So essentially, it means that A103, A104, and that second floor and third floor, we're actually not going to be 
exposing them to the BIM 360 docs users. Okay, so how do we set this up? Well, we give this a publish um, set name and we simply specify the views and sheets we want to get into that uh, sheet set. We can have multiple sheet sets. Uh, we can talk about that later, but essentially it's, let's keep it to the uh, simple concept of having one published set with a couple of views inside. Okay, so we've uh, done this. And let's say that we are indeed going to work on this because from a previous video, we've already uploaded this. Uh, this is actually the Rivet server file that, we're, that we've uploaded, but we're going to make some changes on BIM 360 now. So remember, this is still a cloud-based model. So it is sitting in the cloud. It's simply not visible. It's simply not exposed to BIM 360 docs. So we're uh, publishing this approved plans, which has this view entry level on it. So let's go in here and let's make a change, for instance. So this door, let's put this to the other side. So if I zoom in, it's got this uh, 130 uh, distance from the wall here. So let's, uh, let's put that in here and let's shift that door to the other side. There we go. Can close this. And essentially in the publish settings, again, just to reiterate, we've got the publish set. These are the views that we want to uh, expose. So essentially it's a 3D view, a sheet list, and an approved uh, plan sheet, if you will. Okay, so the only thing we need to do now, it's a workshed file. If it wasn't, and it was simply a cloud uh, Revit file, then we'd hit save. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to go synchronize with central. So you'll notice that indeed it is a BIM 360 uh, file. So I'm just going to go, okay. It's uploading into this sort of invisible file onto BIM 360 docs, which again, as I mentioned, will not initiate a new version on docs itself, visible and exposed through the BIM 360 docs interface. Okay. Saving to local and done. We go back to BIM 360 docs, even if I refresh. So we're in project files architectural, that's where this file is residing. Then you will, <coughs> excuse me, then you will notice that indeed this office architectural file is still um, as it was before, which is uh, version three. Okay. So how do we publish this? Well, quite simple. I already mentioned it in a previous video. Either we go through Manage Cloud Models and hit that Publish button, or we go through this interface here. And if I just refresh, then you'll see that in my project, Project Files, Architectural, if we look at those two files, which essentially are Office Architectural and Office Existing Buildings, you'll notice that one of those two will tell us that there is an update available that we can expose to the cloud interface. There we go, update available. So all we need to do now is click on this, publish, publish. This will get processed now. And what you'll see is that in the cloud, this is gonna get processed, <coughs> excuse me, to a version four, which has that door in a different location. So published, and immediately you'll see that we now have a version four. And the reason this is still sort of processing is that, and the details will come in another video, is that we're actually not going to be looking at the original Revit file, which sort of already made sense because we're specifying what sheets and what have you, but we're using it, uh, we're, we're looking at a lightweight version of this file, which is uh, uh, perfect for. Uh, cloud streaming, if you will, and, and viewing that file in the cloud. So let's just give that a second, and you'll see that we can get to this uh, version 4 uh, in the cloud. Uh, if we were to zoom into that specific sheet and into that specific location with the door, then you will indeed see that version 4 has a change in it. So just to reiterate, we've now published this file from Revit and what you'll see is indeed that 3D view called architectural in the viewer 
and in 2d we have this sheet and view list and the a101 approved plans so let's have a look at that specific sheet and if we zoom in here then you'll notice that indeed in this case the door was shifted from this location onto this location and in some later videos we'll be looking at how we can find those differences between versions uh, how we can potentially use a dynamo script to highlight it and uh, essentially the hyper modeling feature in bin 360 design which will also help thank you very much